hi guys welcome back to the channel it's your favorite girl Ajala Umotayo, the one and only you already know that <laughs> welcome back to this to today's video guys so it's been two weeks since i dropped the video and i'm really sorry about that um the reason why i have not dropped the video is because i actually have videos to put out for you guys but um i'm not sure if it's going to do well like i have a wedding vlog i went to a wedding i vlogged it but i don't know how the video is going to do i'm not sure if it's going to do so well but um i'm just feeling somehow about the video so i just want to ask you guys if you are interested in me dropping the wedding vlog please just tell me in the comment section so like at least i can have a moral or an aim to drop the video because right now i'm not feeling it so yeah um what else do i want to talk about so today i'll be sharing my own popular opinions about things yeah so this video i'll be coming at different people because we all share different opinions and you all know that so what i'm saying you might not agree with this but who cares man so i'll be sharing my unpopular opinions on this channel just things that um has happened around me and how i feel towards them so um i'm not here to come and shade anybody or anything it's just how i feel if you're interested in this content stay tuned and also don't forget to subscribe before you click out of this video please subscribe drop a comment share my videos just please subscribe please subscribe like i cannot just subscribe thank you um catch you in the next clip yes we are back we're back again so the first on the list i want to talk about is yeah i have my pie and jot that here because <laughs> i wrote down my points okay so um first on the list is you can be rude to adults who are rude to you please can we say this again you can be rude to adults who are rude to you please um i'm i'm like i'm one of this uh, i'm somebody that i believe in respect is reciprocal how did they say it so um no matter how old you are like if you are 50 and i'm 25 i feel like you should give me the respect i deserve so i can respect you too so um like i said you can be rude to others that are rude to you because there's some people they just um tend to look at age i feel like they can't talk to you anyhow meanwhile you that are younger you're way more smarter than them so um when some adults are being really rude to you please return the bad vibe back like I'm, that's how i feel like once once i notice that you're trying to behave a kind of way to me you know just trying you know just because you're older than me then um, i give it back to you like i don't know how to take rubbish from people because there was this other day like one day um i carried bike from like a bus stop in my area to the front of my house like i always carry bike like this place is trekkable but i always carry bike because i'm lazy so like it's something i carry almost every day and i know how much they charge which is 100 naira and this guy you no, know, I just figured out okay from this place to my house is 100 naira. I didn't even bother asking because normally I'll ask that how much. So I told this guy that when I got home, it wasn't like uh -uh, and I brought 100 naira and I gave him. It wasn't like uh -uh, what kind of money do I want to give him like this? I didn't even understand. Like I was even looking at the money that is the money bad because I just felt the money was 100 naira. Like I was even trying to look at uh, is the money bad or something. It was like eh, the money is 150 and it was just being really and that day I was already angry and it was just being really rude and annoying to me. I'm not like uh -uh, sometimes I carry 100. Like, okay, the thing is. If you had just spoken to me calmly and you know just like ah it's one fifty years to collect to I had extra cash in my purse I could have just given him the armor that has gone on here but he was talking so rudely to me I'm like because you're older than almost I had to return it back to him that you can't talk to me like that because of 15 naira. Like he was telling me that the, the fee is 150 instead of 100 naira. And I'm like, I carry this thing every day and I pay 100 naira. So he just felt he could talk to me because obviously he knew he was older than me and he was just <laughs> being so rude and even cursing me. Uh, me I, I gave him back the energy because you can't be talking to me anyhow just because you feel like you're older than me. So, like I said, you can be rude to others that are rude to you are big. Like, forget it. Like, if they, they feel like they can talk to you or they can downplay you or what, please let them know that you can, you know, speak for yourself and, you know, don't just be kind and for me respect. Like, what the respect has respect given anybody? Um, That's my first part and I've been so passionate about this because it's something I've experienced countless times and it is really paining me. So that is my first unpopular opinion. Be rude to whoever is rude to you, please. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Don't go and be rude to just anybody, but be rude to adults who are rude to you in return. Like we say, respect is reciprocal. So nobody, like, you should respect as an adult you should respect a five-year-old child if you want the child to respect because you're also teaching the child respect if you are the little things if you are sending a five-year-old child somewhere you're saying thank you stuff like that she know that she know, he or she knows that okay they have to re return that vibe so this is just like you no know, if you respect like 
um i'm being so passionate about this but um let's skip to the next point and the second point is um cut your toxic friends off yes like um i'm going to say this and say this again cut your toxic friends off like if you feel like oh, okay let me read it don't try to manage bad friends they always end up with tears like don't try to manage like if you notice this bad vibe from a friend and you don't like it please from the beginning don't allow any don't even allow any form of friend just cut it off like you know okay you and this person you're not on the same level you're not on the same thinking level it is okay for you to cut them off like because you might just feel like okay i've matured to a particular point and my friend is still way behind like she's not on my thinking level like it's, it's okay for you to cut them off because they will drag you down with them and also make friends to people you can relate in all you can relate with in all situations yes like you know be friends with people that you feel like okay you guys can you know you can think about something all together like you can have experiences and um um what did i want to say okay don't make friends with people above your class this is where prep pre pressure comes with yes so like don't like now okay um i'm this person about um, i'm always on my lane like i don't know how to do too much imagine now like me okay let me give an example imagine as a young girl now like the highest you can afford is 10k you can just the highest you can afford is 10k and your friends they can afford 100k and 1 million naira, and you are being friends with them see one way or the other you just fall into depression because you'll be thinking about your life that okay i can't do it that's why i said move i'm not saying okay you should not move with people with bigger class so that they can you know introduce it to are you so you can you know make but just be careful with it like don't move with people that will make you fall into depression if you say that okay this person is already doing way above me please just you know like people like that you just Move, like move yourself small, slowly like shift away from that because you're just going to fall into depression and do things you're not going to do just because you want to like feel among or feel belonged or just cut toxic people away like anyway so please do so to cut your toxic friends off if you feel like okay this particular friend um me and now like we're not vibing we're not like on the same destiny please cut them off and friends that make you feel like little or below like you guys get the logic cut that friend of me and my third unpopular opinion is um nigeria does not give a fuck about nigerian student and that's how i feel because today is um 20th of april and um federal schools have been on strike since february 14th so that's like um that's like um almost three months because that, let's just say it is like um this just that's like one and a half or almost two months that's almost two months so federal university like all students have been at home for almost two months and the most annoying thing is that they're not even making any attempt to do anything it's not like okay they're on strike and they're like um going to meetings looking for how to resolve it nobody's talking the federal government is not saying anything the country everybody is asked to everybody is not like we don't have any update on what's going on or when we're going to resume back to school so this, this, they don't give a fuck about us like they don't give a fuck about us and i really don't know how this, and the, the sad thing is there's nothing we can do about it like what i want to do about it as as call of the strike for me to resume school like no matter how i rant or complain like nothing is going to happen until they are ready to do something that's when they are going to do it so um i just feel like they don't care about us at all they don't care about us like imagine having to you study a four-year or using six years to study a four-year old course like it's so annoying most times when i just think about it because i just feel like i just want to move on in my life and i feel stuck and stagnant like i'm supposed to have graduated school this year like i'm supposed to finish my school ending of this year and yeah i'm in 300 level and i'm still at home not doing anything federal university federal um nigerian government don't give a fuck about nigerian students sorry for using that language um the fourth um yeah this fourth point is oh god this one is even painting me because of it is relating to what's currently trending online like children should not have any business using a phone back me up with it like why should you give a child a phone like we get giving them tabs giving them laptops these are things oh what are they what are they doing on social media what, what are, on my nose on the edge doing on social media like they have no business using a phone like i need we need really need to revisit <coughs> um um this 
there's this way of parenting i don't even know if it's the gen z or millennium parenting like you need to go and check it out you don't have any business giving a five-year-old a six-year-old a phone what i know that they used to give children is tabs like and when they graduate from tabs they get a laptop like you don't have any reason using a phone until you're 16. that's how i feel so i don't understand because of this video that is currently trending and everybody is posting it's just so annoying like a child like you need to go and check out that girl's videos on is it, i don't know the name of the app maybe you said the app is like tiktok or something you know <sighs> imagine you'll be seeing small children on tiktok please let them grow and let them mature even not these small children that are that this i don't want to go see what i don't want to, i wanted to say something now but um small children that they have turned to influencers now i'm not saying okay okay they're making money is a nice thing but there should be a limit why would you give a four-year-old a five a phone what are they using to do please give them a tablet let them watch coco melon let them watch spongebob squarepants or something like that like um this new set of um training I, i'm not mother i can't judge people but you just need to like revisit it and you know try to cut down something i'm sure we're always trying to be too bad and bougie but um there's some things we're not we're not supposed to do um and that's my own popular opinion please stop giving children phones like they don't need it imagine small children using the most expensive phone like they do... <sighs> um 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 yeah at <laughs> this point <laughs> you can post your boyfriend every day but you can post your relationship but not every day like stop posting your boyfriend every single day like i'm not here to come and shade anybody or anything but this is just how i feel like i don't i don't like the idea of posting your relationship online countlessly like every single day yeah, yeah trying to show off you're trying to put it out there okay we get you're happy you're in a nice relationship and everything is all mushy and cute but please um i don't think we need the information even i would feel like even married people like we get that your marriage is perfect and everything okay once in a while you can put it out there for us and we're going to say oh and not just kittens but we don't need to know every day we don't want to see you posting about it every day like me i get irritated like post your me i'm even one of those people that are like why won't you post your boyfriend like you don't want us to see him that's how i feel so post your boyfriend there's nothing bad about it but please not every day like don't post your relationship every day you can post though but not every day and um <sighs> that's just how i feel man no shades to anybody but please stop posting your boyfriend or girlfriend every day like showing us chat showing us conversation we don't want to know actually <laughs> and to really surprise you that most of us don't want to know um what else um yeah um this is my fifth point um no matter what happens um the girl child or the lady is always at fault this is also relating to the video currently circulating online about this um drama chrisland drama but um the lady and the female child is always at fault like if you watch that video like the video that's currently circulating um there are guys in that video um and i heard that the girl has been suspended from school and trust me there are like three or four guys in the video i don't even know now and i'm sure they're still going back to school like they've not done any um what's the word is it um they've not done anything to the male child so the female child or the lady or the girl or the woman is always going to be at fault in every situation which is bad and i thought they said okay this is um um the um, equality you know from the male child and the female child are now equal there's nothing like that this is still 2022 and we're still always blaming the female child for any simple or any small make, um, mistake it is always the female child so um um that's my popular opinion i feel like and i don't think it's something that can be easily changed because from the beginning there's always brought it i'm not even a feminist so um not a feminist but from the beginning it has always been that um the female child and um, the male child deserve the respect and the female child has to obey and everything so and i feel like no matter i try to form this is 2022 when the um gen z whatever is always going to be like that the female child will always be um always be um always be the one at fault so that's why the female child we the female ones we just have to be careful in this in this world yeah and um i think that's all man that's all that's all i feel like i was talking too passionately for this video but i just wrote down six points i didn't want to like go over but so um that's the end of my own popular opinions i if you guys can relate with me just tell me in the comment section these are things that when i just see it i just get irritated like <sighs> 
so um this is the end of this video like i said i don't want my video to be too long i'm always trying to drop at least 15 minutes video so um thanks for watching today and if you watch the end thank you and if you feel like i was talking too fast or i was rushing or i was talking too passionately i'm so sorry like <laughs> i don't enter um <laughs> thanks for watching to the end so you can please subscribe to my channel drop a comment and um just let me how you feel um if you don't agree to my own popular opinion i also like to know in the comment section like we don't have to agree to each other but um it's just me sharing what i feel and um yeah it is what it is um catch you in the next one bye